In this video clip, we're going to be looking at the final stages of a Criterium race here in Perth. The circuit, which you can see on screen, starts here, completes a anti-clockwise lap of about one and a half kilometres. This lap occurs on a hill, so proceeding from this lowest point here all the way up to the top of the climb and then you begin descending again back down to the lowest point here. That's evidenced here through the topography map. So a pretty technical and challenging course made all the more difficult by these two points here and here which are also off camber. It gives a little bit for the uh, riders to have to hang on to. So here we are in the closing stages of the race. Approximately two and a half laps to go. You've got the onboard camera, which is myself. Here I am instructing Matt in the O-top clothing as to where I exactly want him to deliver me in the bunch. Pretty standard uh, practice for someone who identifies as a sprinter and is going to use someone for their own purposes. So here you can see a lot of counter attacks going, a lot of moving forward, which adds to the technicality of a sprint finish. Stay left, Matt. Again, I'm instructing Matt to stay left because of the crosswind blowing from left to right of screen and also directing him to ease off the pace when required. So basically I'm using Matt in this instance to totally pilot me to the finish. I overtake him there so he can pick me up on the bell lap, the final lap, and deliver me right to the finish line. So we're coming on to the last lap now. So rather than pushing up myself, I'm just merely following wheels understanding that the moment I come into contact with the wind or have to be on the front, it's the moment I lose a lot of energy reserves that I need for the final sprint. So bell lap, last lap to go. Group's kind of stalling a bit here. This young guy on the front is running out of a bit of legs. Now this is me calling Matt to the front to pick me up. Here comes Matty, chop back onto his wheel. Stay right. Stay right. Matt me. gets a nice line through the corner, I duck in under the guy, straight back onto Matt's wheel. Again, Stay instructing right. him how I want the lead out to be performed. Matt's been instructed before the start of the race to actually get me into this last corner first, which he's almost done. Drops me off here, pulls out wide, off we go. From here it's about a 17 second all out effort to the finish line. So lead out executed perfectly, unfortunately just not far enough forward. Importantly what the take home messages from this race is the lead out on a technical course like this is really, really important. Dropping someone into the relevant um, end point, wherever that may be for your sprinter, it's up to them if they've got a long sprint or a short sprint. In this instance, Matt took me to exactly where I wanted to and we'll be at where we were able to capitalise well on executing a sprint. Unfortunately, way too far back from the uh, place getters to claim a real result.